you know, some people collect stamps, some people collect baseball cards. Do people still do that? Some people collect shoes. I just so happen to collect piercings. Hey guys, it's Malia Taylor. Today I'm gonna be doing, of course, if you cannot see by the title, the ear piercing video. Actually, look at that, look at that glare. I'll take these off for you. Okay, hi. I've accumulated, I've collected quite a bit of piercings within this past year. I should have wrote everything down. <laughs> We're just gonna jump right into it. First of all, I'll show you my ears, right? Actually, one of these are fake, so we'll go over that in a bit. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Two. So I have lucky number 13, 13 piercings, as if my life didn't need any more chances of having bad luck. Anyway, two have closed up, so I guess a total of 15 piercings, I guess? So I'll go ahead and get started. I'll try to go over basically every, you know, the basics, like which one I got done first, where's the jewelry from, do you care? Where did I get it pierced? What was the pain like? Recovery time? Do I regret it? All that jazz. Should I put my hair up? I straightened my hair, so I was like, okay, I gotta film something. <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna be talking about my first ear piercings. These are gonna be my first holes in the lobe. I like to mix and match the earrings, kinda decorate them however I want. The first lobes I got in, back in Maui when I was about seven. We were probably on a family trip and I grew up with my close friends at the time. They all had their ear piercings, like they'd gotten it pierced when they were infants. Me, I was a late bloomer, you know, I fell out of the loop. So went there, got my ears pierced, felt good about it. I don't remember pain because I was seven. You would think if it was any type of traumatizing pain that I would be here today explaining that to you, but I'm not, so. The first holes were a success. I believe I went to like a clear store in the mall. Of course, everybody knows that the lobe piercings are obviously less painful, less maintenance. Obviously, you still want to take care of it, but yeah, I didn't have any issues. This side, I have just like a cheap gold hoop that I probably got off of Etsy, and then this one is from Majiri. It's from the Claire Marshall. Is it the Bound Collection? You know what this is, the, the safety pin earring that she made, so I have one of those and then like a cheap little earring on the other side. Now, right away, I wanted a second piercing. My best friend growing up, she had her second second holes already by the time, maybe like middle school. So she had hers, of course, being the copycat that I am. So the second hole, I was in about middle school. I believe I went to Ala Moana to get this done, probably at another Claire's. And you can't really tell. Actually, usually I can't even tell which hole it is. I believe it's this one. The way the lady had pierced it, it was like at a weird angle. So it's kind of at a weird angle and it's a little closer to the first piercing versus this one. This one looks a little more spaced out. So these are the second holes that I did back in middle school. I changed the earrings out the second day I got it pierced, which is a big no-no. Got those. Again, don't remember any pain-wise, any troubles, nothing like that. It was another simple piercing. The second hole earrings, this is another cheap one from Etsy, and this one on the side is another Majiri from the Claire Marshall collection, and then I have it chained up to this earring up here. Now we're going into high school. I wanted my first cartilage piercing. This was when I was maybe like a sophomore. My best friend and I, we wanted to get matching cartilage piercings. So this was our, this was my first time going to a tattoo shop and actually getting pierced because I didn't know you're supposed to do that. It was in Waikiki. I got my right ear, the upper cartilage, this one done. I don't know if she had gotten the same ear or not and I have no way of figuring it out because hers actually closed up like a couple months after we got it done because she just took it out. I still have it till this day. I think it's really cool. It, I know it was a different feeling obviously compared to the low piercing, but I don't remember there being pain. I don't remember having any infection type of issues. So again, sorry, I have nothing negative to say about that. This was like another, like the matching hoop that I have on my first whole lobe. That one's probably from Etsy too. So now we have this one done. Okay, so now I gotten my lobe piercings. I've gotten my first cartilage piercing. I'm ready to step it up and do something a little more complicated. So this is going into college days, trade school. In Arizona, I was working at Macaroni Grill and I wanted something different than what I already had. And one of the waitresses at Macaroni Grill, she had tragus piercings on both her ears, both left and right, and it looked cute, it looked cool. So I decided to take a baby step and get my first tragus piercing. I originally got it on this ear right here. You wouldn't know because it's closed up. You can still kind of tell where the hole is. Maybe you can, I can, but I took it out for personal reasons. Reasons. However, I'm pretty sure they used, I don't know if I'm going crazy, but is there such thing as like people using like a hook type of needle? Because I swear they did almost like a, 
like a hook type of movement. It was almost like a pop feeling on the tragus piercing. I do remember seeing blood, but I wouldn't say it was painful. It's just like a pressure type of thing. It feels like something is pushing or pulling your ear, but it wasn't painful. Let me make that clear. I don't have, I didn't have any issues with infection or the healing process. So that was pretty straightforward too. And I really liked it. Okay, so now this is kind of when I started really getting into YouTube, really watching YouTube, beauty gurus, all that kind of stuff. One beauty guru that I was always watching she would always show her makeup to the side and you would always see like her three piercings and so I always thought that looked really cute and so this was already when I took my tragus piercing out so at the time I had three piercings on this side and now I was left with two on this side. I got this third one done. It's just a small little gold ball earring. This was a cheap Etsy purchase as well. I got it done at a tattoo shop in Kailua. It's a low piercing so it was no big deal and that was that. I'm I probably changed the earring out early as well. This is where the addiction really started to flourish because when I did the third hole, I was probably 22. So now I'm turning 25 and out of school, working. It's my birthday. I know I'm not gonna party. So I decide my way of celebrating my birthday is to get pierced in the ears a few times. I went to, I decided on a shop in Aiea, a tattoo shop that I was gonna go to, and my plan was to get three piercings. I wanted my tragus done, this front or anti-helix, I'm not even sure what it's called, this type of helix earring, the hoop one, and I wanted one kind of right across from it, but it wasn't this one. <laughs> the one that's not here, it's another one that I had to take out, didn't choose to take out. It was more like in this area over here. I know I've said that none of these piercings hurt up until this point because these three were painful. Not unbearable. It was like unnecessary pain. I just feel like the needle was in my ear longer than it should have been. So the trig is done over here. This earring is actually from the shop I currently go to. This one that, they, that the piercer did on this side, this hoop one, I did change out the drawer early. That's my fault, 100%. The shop that I currently go to had commented that this piercing was way too crooked, and I do remember the previous piece of jewelry that I had in here, the backing would stick like way far out, like on the outside, so you could see the whole backing of the earring when it should have been more hidden, if that makes sense. So this is at a funky angle, so I have a hoop in it to kind of throw it off so you can't really tell. This piercing up here was the most painful out of the three, I would say. My ear had some purple type of of color up here right after I got it. I thought it was a red flag at first, but I was so happy that I got those done. It was my birthday. I kind of just let it slide. I didn't really think anything of it. Into a week of the piercing, now I will say that a lot of my piercings did get infected because of the aftercare. It's so, so important to it's so important to make sure you maintain your piercing. Basically, don't do what I did. It's an investment. It's your body. And be very diligent with it. I wasn't. I'll fully admit that. Also, my job. My hands are dirty all the time. My face gets dirty all the time. So I'm pretty prone to getting infected in general. So it's just something I have to deal with. So this one did get, the upper one that's not here anymore, it did get infected really bad. It did swell up so much to the point where my ear was maybe sticking out this much. Like, no joke, it was sticking out a lot. It was throbbing really hard. It was red. It was inflamed. It was throbbing to the point where this side of my head was throbbing and it was just too ridiculous. I couldn't wait to get in a doctor's appointment. I ended up going to urgent care. They prescribed me antibiotics and I waited a little too long. Like I thought it would just, I thought the body, my body would fight it off. <laughs> I was wrong, clearly. And so I just couldn't take the pain anymore and I decided to take the earring out. I did some research and some people did suggest that you shouldn't take out the piercing because when it heals, it can enclose the infection. But the doctor did recommend recommend that I do take out the piercing if it doesn't get any better, so I just flipped a coin, decided to take it out. Shortly after, the tragus piercing did get infected also. Not like swollen infected like how this one was, but it did give me a hard time to where it never felt like it was healing. It always felt kind of raw. When I would clean it, I did notice blood pretty much every time I would clean it. I have to keep an eye on this guy, but this one, correct me if I'm wrong, this is a gold disc. It might be from the company B-L-V-A. I could be wrong. So two out of the three I still have from my 25th birthday. Then I finally found the tattoo shop that I currently go to. This one is in Waikiki. It is the Skin Deep Tattoo Shop. It is the Honolulu Piercing. I'll put their name up here. I know where it's located. 
I'm sorry if I don't know the exact name. I really like this place because it's very welcoming. They pierce you with yellow gold jewelry or any, basically any jewelry of your choice. Also, the service is really nice. I always used to feel like previous shops that I would go into, they weren't the friendliest people. I always felt like I was walking into a tattoo shop and disrupting their tattoo work. But I never felt like they wanted to pierce me. I just felt like I was taking up their time. They wanted to pierce me and get the hell out. So it was nice to finally be in a place where I felt welcomed. I'm paying for it, so. I've been pierced by a total of three piercers over at that location. They all are super nice, super helpful, and I really like it. You can just walk in, you wait like five to ten minutes, and before you know it, you're pierced. So I really like it. First time I went in there, I got a total of two piercings. I got my conch piercing over here. The earring is from them as well. And then I also got this one. I, I think it's called a helix. <laughs> These were probably the least painful cartilage piercings that I've gotten, especially the conch. Now the conch I went back and forth with, so it was a little intimidating to me, but I've always wanted a conch piercing. Surprisingly, it was the least painful. It was incredible. So never had issues with this one. It was so fast, so not painful. It was great. This one wasn't painful either. It was just like a normal cartilage piercing, nothing different. This one has been a little on the swollen side, so I do monitor it. I do have antibiotics, so I'm keeping an eye on this one. The next two that I got, got the idea from Pinterest. This was when I was really going into my piercing phase. So all of these piercings were kind of done around the same time. All in 2019 is when I started to get all of these piercings. So the next two that I got are these two up here. The jewelry is from the same tattoo shop that I've been going to. There was like a tiny little pinch, but hardly noticeable on a scale of one to 10 maybe like a three. This one is probably one of my favorites. I really love the placement of it. I like that it's a little different. Now my last piercing, my 13th piercing, 15th piercing is this top helix one. This one did get infected. This one, the story is from them as well. I don't believe it was the piercer's fault. It could just be, he was really quick about it. Like it was the shop that I trusted. It could have just been my body. There's so many variables that could have caused the infection, but it happened so quick. It happened with Within 24 hours of me getting the piercing. It swelled up pretty quickly to the point where I couldn't even try and take out the piercing. It looked like it was going in my ear. I went back to the doctor, got more antibiotics, which was a whole other nightmare on its own, but we got the antibiotics and after all that, the swelling went down. It's doing a lot better. She's healing normally. We're finally done. We did it guys. That was the piercing video. I went through like a little piercing binge, but I'm done now. I, I tapped out. Like I'm not doing it for a long time. If you think I have too many piercings, okay. I probably do. Maybe I don't. Who really cares? It's just piercings. I enjoy them. I love jewelry. So this is another way for me to enjoy my jewelry addiction. Yeah, and I'm really happy with them. I'm glad I finally found a place where I'm comfortable with getting a piercing if I ever choose to add more, which I won't. I hope this video has helped you guys. If there's anything I'd want you to take away from this video, it's that be careful when you go in there. Be sure that the environment is right. Now that piercings are getting so much more popular, which is fantastic because it took me this long to find a shop that I actually am comfortable going to. Also to stay on that aftercare, especially if it's a cartilage piercing, keep an eye on it, monitor it. If it doesn't feel right, go to the doctor. Just follow your trusted tattoo shop piercers advice, What whatever however they tell you to care for it, do it because they're the ones that pierced you. Don't do what I do, basically. So thank you so much, you guys, for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Be sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one.